If you're a standing seam metal roofing installer, there's a couple options where you could get your panels from, whether that's from a regional manufacturer or if you own your own portable roll former. In this video, we'll talk about the pros and cons of each option and which you should choose for your business. What's up guys, I'm Thad Barnett. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. And today on Q&A Mondays, we're talking about which type of panel manufacturing is right for you. Should you order panels from a regional manufacturer, from a panel supplier, or should you consider purchasing your own portable roll former to use for your everyday jobs? And to help me with this topic today, I have Doug Markle from Sheffield Metals. Thanks, Doug, for being here. You bet. So tell us a little bit about this difference between portable roll forming or owning your own portable roll former or purchasing um, from a regional manufacturer. Are those your main options when it comes to panel supply? For sure. Uh, we have a number of customers that are strictly on the installation side. And then we also have customers that are looking to grow their business and possibly add portable roll forming equipment. There's pros and cons to both. And I think that that's what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, for sure. Um, and, you know, how, how does that actually look if someone owns a portable roll former versus buying factory panels? What does that look like for them on a daily basis? So the customers that we have that own portable roll forming equipment obviously have invested a considerable amount of money in that equipment with the hopes of controlling their own manufacturing. It brings a number of other things into the equation. They need to learn how to estimate jobs correctly. They need to set up relationships with various suppliers like Sheffield Metals. They're going to start buying their own coil and sheet, and the flat sheets are for trim. There's a lot more involved in owning a roll forming machine versus going factory form or purchasing from a regional manufacturer. Those guys that you utilize regional manufacturers typically turn all of the purchasing power over to those regional manufacturers who already have relationships set up with vendors like Sheffield, and they get a turnkey package for their project. All of the trim is already formed. The uh, manufacturer shows up on site, roll forms the panels out, and then the installer puts the roof on. Got it. So as an installer, you know, what are my pros and cons of each one of those two options? The pros is definitely controlling your own manufacturing. Um, if you're a residential contractor or a commercial contractor, you can really focus in and know your costs involved in the manufacturing, potentially lower your costs. The cons to owning a roll forming machine is, first of all, it's a financial commitment that some guys are not in the position quite yet. They haven't grown their business to that point, and it is an expensive piece of machinery to purchase. And then obviously, uh, it's a machine. And while uh, all of the roll forming manufacturers out there make quality equipment, they are prone to malfunctions and breakdowns from time to time. So there's additional costs in there for all of the maintenance. Yeah, you're right. There, there is a lot to think about when it comes to owning your own portable roll former. I mean, you've got to have the proper training to do that, an operator that's going to that's gonna run it and maintain it. Um, so all of that has to factor into your decision as well. Absolutely. One of the, uh, the perks uh, at Sheffield Metals is we have on staff through our technical department, we do offer complimentary on-site uh, machine training when you purchase roll forming equipment through Sheffield. So we're, we're not only there to supply you with your metal needs, but we're there once you take possession of that equipment to train you properly and obviously doing it on site at that customer's business, we can train as many individuals as they want to and spend as much time there uh, as we need to, to make sure that we have everything dialed in and that machine's running properly before we leave. What are the pros and cons of purchasing panels from a regional manufacturer? I would say the pros are regional manufacturers typically already have established relationships with metal suppliers. They already have lines of credit established. So your your downtime is minimized while you're getting the account set up. Uh, typically, they can get material within a couple of days. Those guys already have machines that they've been working with and they're familiar with, and they already know how to run panels. What panel is required for what type of job, whether it's a residential or commercial project. 
and they just are, are already established in the industry and are a known commodity. Uh, the cons can be depending upon whether those guys are rolling panels in a factory and shipping versus doing it on site. We all know that things can go wrong on a project, a measurement is slightly off or whatever, and you might, have, you might experience some extended downtimes if a panel correction is required or whatever while you're waiting on a third party to work you back into their schedule to get you what you need to complete the job. Yeah, and not only that, if they're shipping panels from their own facility, you know, who knows if there's gonna be shipping issues, damage to panels, plus you can only ship, you know, a certain length of panels. If you need longer panels than uh, whatever the truck can handle, then you're out of luck. That's absolutely correct. So if I'm an installer and I'm uh, making this decision, how do I know which one to pick? You know, when is it a good decision for me to purchase from a regional manufacturer? Let's start there. I think it really boils down to the, the size and scope of that individual's business. You know, what type of roofing are you into? Are you a residential or are you a commercial contractor? Are you going after specified projects that require testing and engineering? Uh, certain panel profiles are specified more so than others. So it really boils down to the scope of business, the scope of work that you're going after. And then obviously you got to weigh the costs involved in purchasing that equipment, purchasing the correct panel profiles, depending upon the type of work that you're going to do. So it, it really boils down. It's, it's an individual decision. I, I don't know if there's necessarily a right or a wrong way of, of going about doing it. You just got to weigh the costs way what's all involved, uh, but know that regardless of which way you go, whether you want to stay strictly installing or whether you want to jump into the manufacturing side, there's plenty of options out there. Obviously, we'd love to sell you a roll forming machine, uh, but we can also align customers up with a number of regional manufacturers, depending upon where they're located. Yeah, it sounds like there's some some common themes here from what I'm seeing. If, if someone's business maybe isn't big enough to um, you know, require a roll form or they don't have the capital uh, available or the credit or buying power to purchase a portable roll former. Um, that could be something. If maybe they don't do metal roofing that often and it's just uh, a few jobs here and there, might be better to purchase panels. If they don't have a coil and sheet supplier lined up or don't know where to go to start with that or, or can't find someone in their area, maybe it's better to, to look for regional manufacturers. Some, some considerations there for sure. Absolutely. What about portable roll forming? Um, let's talk about that specifically. When do you see it's time for a contractor to make that jump into their own manufacturing? It depends upon their workload. If they have a number of projects lined up, like I said, you're, you're at the mercy of the scheduling of a regional manufacturer. And if your clientele is demanding things be done quicker, then it, it might definitely be time to look into purchasing a roll forming machine or even multiple machines and having multiple profiles so that you can control your scheduling, your manufacturing and service your customers in a timely manner. I, something that I see is that, you know, someone can even in, uh, expand their business from just installing to becoming a manufacturer of their own for other businesses. And you could even sell to your competition. Correct. We, we have a number of customers that started out on the in, install side, purchased roll forming equipment, and then grew that one machine into several machines and various profiles. And they evolved into what we call a regional manufacturer themselves. That's absolutely right. Can Sheffield Metals offer an installer um, some different options when it comes to regional manufacturers if they don't know where to go? Absolutely. Uh, we already have an existing network of regional manufacturers. So we'd want to know where that potential customer is located so that we can align them with somebody close to them as close as possible. Uh, we obviously need to know their scope of work. Are they residential and doing snap lock panels uh, for easy install or is it more commercially focused and testing and engineering comes into play. So we want to make sure that we get all of the, the facts up front and then align them with the correct regional manufacturer that's going to service their needs. And I know you already mentioned in-house training when it comes to portable roll forming. What else does Sheffield offer when it comes to deciding on that purchase? We offer an extensive testing and engineering program. We're a coil and sheet supplier. 
Uh, we do not manufacture and sell finished panels ourselves. That's where we utilize our network of, of manufacturers. But we do have testing and engineering on a number of different panel profiles. So whether it's simply you're looking for a class four hail impact resistance rating, we can assist with that on the residential side. And we can get fully involved on architecturally spec projects that have wind uplift requirements or low slope water submersion testing requirements. We have all of that testing and engineering that we can back our customer if they decide to purchase uh, roll forming equipment and we can help them grow their business that way. If they want to purchase portable roll forming equipment, can Sheffield help with that? Absolutely. So we are aligned with New Tech Machinery is a sister company of ours under the Mazella company's umbrella. And Sheffield is a distributor of their equipment. And we can definitely assist them in all phases. We can quote the machine. We have all of the brochures and specs on the machine to sit down with the customer and talk about which machine is right for them, which profiles are right for them. And we can obviously assist them all the way through the order process until they take delivery of that. And then, as you mentioned, uh, we will schedule an on-site training session uh, there at the customer's business once they take possession of that equipment. All right, thanks, Doug, very much for the information. And if you have any questions about where to find a regional manufacturer or if you want to purchase your own portable roll former, Sheffield Metals is a great place to start. I'll leave a link to their website in the description down below. Comment if you have any other questions, subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. And as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.